Hey, uh, what's up there, folks? Good morning, Earthmaster here. It is uh, October 26, 2018, uh, about 10.06 a.m. here, West Coast time, and uh, just going to do an update video. In regards to earthquake activity around the globe, of course, they did have that uh, pretty good size 6.8 earthquake over around the Greece region there yesterday. That, of course, has been followed up by quite a bit of aftershock activity. You can see right there on the globe with the latest earthquake being a 4.7 in that aftershock sequence there, which is very typical following a large 6.8 magnitude earthquake anywhere around the globe for that matter. So this is no different in this area. Uh, this once again is one of the strongest earthquakes to take place in that region for quite some time, quite a number of years there uh, for this 6.8 near uh, Greece. But we have been seeing and monitoring quite a bit of swarming going on in that area over the past few months. And it's just been mi minor, maybe some moderate activity right around the 4.0 range. But uh, 6.8 definitely topped the cake there with that uh, magnitude in the region there. As uh, far as the rest of the globe goes. Seeing uh, sporadic earthquake activity out there. Uh, 5.0 south of the Mexico region down there, right along the uh, portion of the Pacific Plate down there, kind of off of it a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, some activity occurring down there. Also a little bit of activity, 5.0 range occurring in the Chile region there in South America. The United States looks pretty quiet. Uh, did have a 2.9 magnitude earthquake there yesterday around the western Montana area, which also showed up on the Yellowstone uh, seismographs, or at least some of them anyway. Northern California seeing a little bit of activity. Most of this is older activity as the rings are now turning red indicating uh, some older activity there from yesterday which should be dropping off the globe here pretty soon. Sporadic activity up here in Alaska region. Still seeing a little bit of activity following that larger quake they had there last month. I uh, can't remember the magnitude up there but right around these uh, this area up here where this 3.3 .3 and 2.8 is taking place, they did have a fairly large earthquake. In fact, the largest one to uh, be recorded in written history up in that part of the state of Alaska. But uh, still seeing some aftershock activity following that big one they had there. Um, 3.7, 3.4 over here to the north or over here to the west and also down to the southwest here of Alaska region there. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty uh, pretty mellow. 5.7 also over here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. That's this earthquake right here. Uh, so, you know, no deeper earthquake activity today uh, and yesterday. Uh, I don't see any deep earthquake activity. That would be, uh, we'd be able to tell by looking at these rings on the globe and seeing how far they are raised off the, the surface here. It would be a very good indication of deep activity but for example like this 5.3 here it's kind of raised off the globe uh, but it's not very deep it's 187 kilometers below the surface but within this region here Fiji Islands area we could see upwards of uh, a depth of 600 kilometers or more uh, in that area anywhere along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire here we see deeper earthquake activity including up around the uh, Japan region as well but uh, looking today pretty mellow um, not a whole lot of magnitudes here to report. I did want to bring up a little uh, article that's flooding the... Uh, let's see, make sure I got this right. Okay. I do want to bring up an article that's flooding the media sites. I mean, there's all they're all over the place. Facebook, uh, Twitter. All you got to do is type in volcano, right? That's what I did here in Google. And there's hundreds hundreds of stories maybe thousands of stories about uh volcanoes right high li high risk volcanoes uh now this is basically a update by the federal uh, see these guys they just uh, they just love flooding folks with their ads and and it's just crazy i was trying to find a site that did not have hundreds of ads built into the article itself but it's almost impossible. Anyway, this article here, I'm going to specifically use latimes.com uh, because it does refer to California earthquakes here, but there's quite a bit out there. Uh, states, you know, as far as like the United States wide there, 
Um, this article dated October 26, 2018 at 9.35 a.m. But this has been going around here for uh, definitely since yesterday. If you can hear that noise in the background, that's my birds. They're about ready to have a blanket thrown over their cage if they don't be quiet. But uh, that's what birds do, I guess, right? They chirp and they chirp and they chirp. And it drives me crazy. Anyway, three of California's volcanoes are still considered to be very high threat, along with 15 others nationwide. Okay, 15 others nationwide. I live up here in Northern California, so I'm pretty close to Mount Shasta, Mount Lassen region. Uh, if Mount Lassen were to blow, I'd probably be uh, not good. Uh, more so also with Mount Shasta because of the high amount of snow that's up there, the glacier uh, snow that's up there year-round. So if Mount Shasta were to blow, we'd be, uh, we wouldn't be good. Anyway, uh, so this is a first update from the federal government volcano threat assessment in more than a decade. Mount Shasta in Siskiyou County, the Lassen Volcanic Center in Shasta County, and the Long Valley. I think that's wrong there. That should be Lassen County, I believe, because Lassen is not in Shasta. But, um, and also the Long Valley Caldera, that includes the Mount Lakes area in Mono County, remain the highest risk category as defined by the U.S. Geo Geological Survey. Um, yeah, that's definitely wrong. Lassen is in Lassen County over here, I believe. So anyway, these are three volcanoes. Uh, Mount Lassen being the most recent one that erupted back in 19... I can't remember early 1910s 1920 i believe maybe even a little bit later than that i can't remember the exact uh year but anyway mount chasta hasn't seen any activity in hundreds of years uh, and of course long valley is a super volcano down in southern california near mammoth lakes and uh that region of the world so that's kind of a super volcano that's more of a a bigger one compared to lassen and chasta these birds are just Man. Anyway, the USGS list of the 18 very high threat volcanoes remains the same as the, as the last such list updated in 2005. They include two such volcanoes on Hawaii's Big Island as Kilauea, which has erupted this year quite a bit for an extended period of time, um, and Mauna Loa, considered the largest active volcano on the planet. Four are in Oregon, uh, Mount Hood, Crater Lake. Uh, yeah, Crater Lake is a volcano. Uh, a, I'm really surprised they're still considering that as a high threat. But uh, something must be going on that's given these folks in uh, uh, a... Uh, what am I looking for here? What's the word? A reason, I guess, to publish all these articles. I know it's kind of like a little fear-mongering out there. Every single news site, article, local news, national news, is throwing this out here. You know, so what's going on? Do they know something that we don't? Um, let's see here. Five are in Alaska near populated areas. Okay, we get it. Uh, you know, we live on planet Earth. There's plate tectonics. Uh, there's some ductions uh, that create volcanoes and spew lava up into the surface region. And... It's been doing that for a long, long time. Now, we'd be in trouble if that stopped. Uh, there have been 10 eruptions in California over the last 1,000 years. And in any given year, the chance of a major volcanic eruption in the state is about the same as the risk of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. Um, let's see here. So here's, a, here's kind of a map of the region here. They got these guys, Mount Shasta, Mount Shasta up in Shasta County, and Lassen down here. And Long Valley Super Volcano as very high risk. You know, not high, not moderate. But why these three volcanoes, I don't know. Um, it's interesting, nonetheless. Let's see here. Volcanoes in the Lassen, Shasta, and Long Valley areas are capable of producing pyroclastic flows or surges when they do erupt. Fast-moving flows of hot ash, rock, and gas sweeping down the sides of mountains of the type that killed 57 people when Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. Um, 
But yeah, these volcanoes that they risk as very high are around populated regions for the most part. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano down there could affect a wide area of Southern California if that thing were to blow. Uh, I don't believe it's as strong. It won't be as strong actually as a Yellowstone eruption, but it would definitely be bigger than a Mount Shasta or a uh, Mount Lassen eruption. Uh, that's definitely a, a interesting area down there to watch. I flew over it a couple times last year and this year, and uh, it's very interesting to see the geographical uh, region down there from the air. Uh, if there's any good news, it's the major volcanic activity is usually, is usually accompanied by some warning signs. And scientists have become much better at forecasting major events before they happen, enabling authorities to sound warnings to reduce the chance of de deaths. Uh, here's, here they mention about the Long Valley Super Volcano right here. California's uh, volcanoes were more prolific in prehistoric times. About 760,000 years ago, a super eruption occurred at what is now known as Long Valley Caldera, erupting in astonishing 140 cubic miles of magma, covering much of East Central California in glowing hot ash and blowing ash as far away as Nebraska. Uh, yeah, so that's what I was talking about, these major things here. But they mention this as a prehistoric event, okay, that, oh yeah, it's, it stopped, it's not going to do that anymore. But, uh -huh. right now they're stating there is no sign that there is enough magma underneath Long Valley to cause another super eruption. Uh, okay, so here's about a century ago, Lassen Peak underwent years of volcanic activity and one of the most significant events in about 103 years. Uh, Lassen Peak, which is pretty close to me, created a gigantic mushroom cloud that reached an altitude of 30,000 feet. Uh, it could be seen as far as away as Eureka and Sacramento and sent volcanic ash up to 280 miles away, reaching Elko, Nevada. Pretty crazy activity there. Um, so, you know, the whole point of this is a little bit of fear-mongering, folks. We're, you know, we're starting to see that a little bit. I, I can see maybe National Geographic putting it out, maybe some other sites, you know, Earth-related sites, but these guys are throwing it out to the public like a soap opera, which is very interesting. Very interesting. And we'll have to see exactly what's going on here uh, as to why they're kind of fear-mongering like that a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's good to get... Good to get the information out, right? As far as like letting the public know. But if you see a giant mountain that looks like a cone, or even so, maybe not like a cone, uh, it's, it's probably, you know, it's, it's a good idea to know your surroundings, right? I, for one, would never build a house right at the bottom of a volcano. I'm not for sure why people do. That's just them. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's always good to be prepared out there. You know, I don't know the hundred. I don't know 100% reason why they're throwing this out here in a fear-mongering type of social media, mass social media. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word. But you know, there's a little bit of fear-mongering out there. It's like they're they're letting everyone, every single person on the planet, know that there are some dangerous volcanoes out there. Uh, you know, but you know they're. And there's three here in Northern California, two in Northern California, one in Southern California on the very high list. Very high. So, like I say, it's kind of puzzling, you know. Do they know something we don't? Who knows? Either way, I'm watching activity around the earthquake or around the uh, volcanoes. Uh, if I start to see signs of earthquake activity, I will... Uh, definitely do an update on it. I do run a couple stations here um, that are monitoring sites like that. Uh, let's see here. I got Mammoth Lakes right here. This one is a live live seismograph station that picks up uh, earthquakes around the Long Valley Super Volcano area. And it's pretty quiet. We've seen swarms there in the past. Uh, Shasta not showing any type of activity. Last and not showing any type of activity, so it's just strange and puzzling, you know, as to why they, why they're, why they're doing this. But it's an updated 
you know, from 2005 type assessment. So it's been quite a few years, so I can understand them getting it out. But the news agencies, the social media agencies, they're loving it. It brings in the clicks, and they you see how many ads were on that LA Times page. I mean, there was a couple on there before I even started the update video. So, you know, it's it's good fear mongering, right? I could put a I could put a picture of a giant volcano, Mount Shasta looking volcano, and have it spewing out lava. You know, add a little Photoshop to it and and say three California volcanoes ready to erupt and man I'd probably have 15,000 30,000 clicks on the video just so I can bring in money right just so I can bring in revenue but I'm not gonna do that I don't fear monger here on this channel uh, I try to bring facts but I do like to bring up little articles like that when uh, when they are published it's very amazing how the news agencies out there like to fear monger uh, yes they're volcanoes one day they will erupt uh, but uh, throwing them out there like that trying to scare the general public is not a good thing because it's everywhere every single news agency every single social media outlet is uh is out there doing it so anyway anyway folks uh what are we looking at here real-time trimmer pretty Pretty quiet out there. This is Cascadia subduction zone region. Uh, a little bit of activity in Northern California, but nothing, nothing major, folks. I mean, it's pretty, pretty mellow and pretty quiet out there. As far as earthquake activity here in California, the little red dot indicating a uh, most recent earthquake near Morgan Hill, California. Uh, that looks like a little 2.1. I mean, this is nothing to even talk about. It's just uh, something that comes up, and we live along a. Uh, North American Pacific plate boundary out here. Things happen. Crustal, crustal earthquakes happen. Volcanoes happen. But either way, it's good to be prepared, right, folks? Always be prepared. And how do you be prepared? Well, stock up on just necessities. You don't have to go into uh, a uh, bug out type of scenario, you know, where you're. I, mean, I, I can't even, I don't even know, you know, like a little underground bunker and all that stuff that people do. I don't do that. I'm a prepper. I do have, you know, lots of water, fuel, food, ammunition, stuff like that. You know, not a lot of ammunition, but you never know when you might need it. It's always good to have it. And, you know, water, I think, is the main thing. Definitely got to have a lot of water, so. You know, there's it, just just be just be prepared. Use common sense, because uh, anything can happen at any given time. These guys state that there's, you know, they they know there's not enough magma underneath Long Valley Caldera, and they may be right. They may be wrong, though. Um, it all depends on if you choose to believe them 100%, because they're uh, just because they're scientists and geologists, and they got a beautiful paper on the wall. Okay, anyway, so we'll end the video, update video on that note there. That looks like an earthquake coming in to, oh, over here. Pacific Ring of Fire once again, out here on the Pacific Plate here. We'll watch this activity throughout the day. It looks like it may be picking up a tad bit because we have seen a 5.7 and a 5.0 just now occurring along the Pacific Plate over here. So. Have a good day, folks. Stay safe out there. Looks like a little earthquake coming into Mendocino, California right now as we speak on that seismograph station there. And um, let's see. I'll keep an eye on that and see exactly uh, what's going on there. So peace out, folks. Have a good day. Play safe out there.